the half-life of palladium 100 is four days. So that means every four days, half of it goes away. After 16 days, a sample of palladium 100 has been reduced to a mass of two milligrams. What was the initial mass? And what is the mass eight weeks after the start? Okay, how to do this? Well, if you look at the notes, here are the notes, exam four notes. I've written this doubling or halving time. I've written a doubling formula and a halving formula for you. And here's the halving formula. It has the half in it, the 0.5, right? A half is 0 0.5 as a decimal. So there it is. A equals P 0 0.5 to the T over halving time. Let me write that. So step one, grab the halving formula. A equals P times 0 0.5 to the T over the halving time. How much does it take to come down to half? Well, it tells us four days is the half lifetime. So boom, that goes right there. Okay, and so then that's, um, so our, let me write that out there. So A equals P 0 0.5 to the T over four. So there's our formula. All right, on to step two. What do we do in step two? It says uh, plug in the given information. Okay, plug in what we can. What, what did they give us? They, well, they told us after 16 days, it's reduced to two milligrams. T equals 16 days, the amount has become two. So let's, so we'll grab the two, plug it in for A, the 16 for T. So we'll get two equals P times 0 0.5 to the 16 over four. Does that make sense? I'm just plugging in the time. They said 16 days, the amount will be two. Plugged in the A is two. So now notice we only have one letter. So we can solve for that letter. Let's do it. Okay. So when you only have one letter left, you can solve for that letter, solve for P. So how do I solve for P? Well, this is two equals P. 0 0.5, 16 divided by four is four. Let's divide the power, keep going, two equals P. If you take a 0 0.5 on your calculator to the fourth power, you're gonna get something, I don't know what it is, uh, 0 0.065. So this becomes 0 0.0625 and then Last step, divide by 0 0.06. Two five on both sides. P equals, so two divided by that, I got 32. So we're able to solve for P, P is 32. And that is the initial mass, 32. That's their question, what is the initial mass? That's the starting amount. So that's what P always is in these formulas. Same thing for the financial formulas, right? A was the amount of money later. P was the principal investment, the amount you put in the account at first. It's the same thing for the biology examples. P is the starting amount. A is the amount later. So we just found P is 32. That's the starting or initial amount, 32. All right, now they have another question coming and coming on down. Step three, plug in the final time. Plug in the final time. All right, let's do it, plug in the final time. So now we have the formula, let's plug into, plug in the final time. And what is the final time? Eight weeks, mine anyway. Eight weeks. But again, we have to keep our time units all the same, don't we? We can't, we can't be switching up time. You can't be days in one part and weeks in the other, right? You got to keep them all consistent. It doesn't matter what time unit you pick. You could go with days, you could go with weeks. You just have to be consistent. You can't change your mind halfway through. So we started with days. When we put in that four, we were determined to days. So we got to stay with days. 
So when they give us eight weeks, we have to change that to days because right now our formula is in days. So that's a times seven, seven days in every week, as you know, that'll be 56 days. So they're asking us, you know, how much, uh, what's the mass going to be eight weeks, which is 56 days later. So let's write the formula again. A equals P 0 0.5 to the T over four, right? I'm just, I'm just grabbing that right here or right here. And now let's plug in. We, we've learned what P is. Plug in P right here, 32. And time, 56 days. So 32 is the starting amount. 56 is the time. 56 days later, we want to know how much is left. So it'd be 32. And 0 0.5 to the 56 over 4. So that amount will be 32 um, times 0 0.5. What is 56 divided by 4? I don't know. It's 14. 14. So then <clears throat> hit the buttons on your calculator. I'm getting not very much. 0 0.001953. 0 0.1953125. So not very much is left after eight weeks. This stuff is going away. This this stuff goes away pretty quick, right? This palladium 100 every four days, half of it goes away. So you know, it, after eight weeks, it's it's almost gone. So that's the amount that's left. So recapping, what did we do? So whenever we get a doubling or halving problem, we go grab the formula for doubling or halving. This is the halving one. So it's got the half, the 0.5. Plug in the halving time right down there and then plug in the initial information, 16 days, the amount was two. So I plug in times 16 days, the amount is two and I'm able to solve down here for P. I found P is 32. And then that's the initial amount. P is always the initial, like in an investment problem, it's the principal. And then answer the final question, plug in the final time, eight weeks, times seven days, 56 days, plug in 56 for the time, 32 for the P, work it out. That's how much is left after 56 days. There we go.